stupid logo. Hello everyone! Hello guys! And welcome, uh, or rather, welcome back to us being resurrected once more for a episode of Conker's Bad Fur Day. Yep. And this is a game that I never played back in the early days in 2001. I didn't start playing it until the action, uh, replay, re the rare replay collection came out on the Xbox One. And that was back in, I believe, two years ago, I think. Because that was one of the reasons why I bought an Xbox One. So that was actually my first exposure to the game, so... Yeah. There's actually a multiplayer mode which we're going to check out after we've done the main playthrough, so... And I just noticed, like, a uh, banjo up in the corner there. Yeah, on the fireplace there. Also, when you go to the uh, chapters... You see Kazooie there in the back. <laughs> oh, poor guy! Yeah. So we're going to start a new file, so let's go. Oh, well. That was all. Yeah, we already started here. We should have had the other cutscene first. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, thanks for doing that. <laughs> no, I, I forgot to erase it beforehand. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, I'm leaving that entire bit in, by the way. <laughs> yeah, just to show you how much of a dim you are. Okay, let's go. Cool. Conquer the king, king of all the land. Who the fuck that? But how did I come to this? I hear you say. And who are those strange fellows that surround my throne? I hear you also say. Well, it's a long story. Come closer, and I'll tell you. It all started yesterday. And what a day that was. It's what I call. A bad fur day. and they're off tomorrow to some, I don't know, fight some war somewhere. Anyway, um, I'll see ya. <laughs> Lo love you. <laughs> I think she bought it. Conquer, put the phone down. Oh, oh, uh, right. Who's round with it? Yours. What, again? Okay. 
Can someone lend me a fiver? Uh, uh, I don't feel so good now. You guys enjoy yourself and all that, and I'll probably see you sometime next week. I gotta go home. I'll, I'll go this way. Oh, oh, no, that's the toilets. I'll go this way. Yeah, that's better. Oh, that not too good tonight. Ooh, hang on a sec. Sorry about that, old chap. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> Can't quite make it out. Anyway, it seems pretty familiar to me. This way, I suppose. It's gonna be one of those days. Well, that was a fun introduction, wasn't it? Yeah, very out there. And trust me, the game's gonna be like that throughout. So many crazy things happen in the oh, game. The Most definitely. Pressing the B button does something. <laughs> yep. This game will break the fourth wall quite a lot, which is one of the things I really like about this game. How much it breaks them. Feel so good. Feel thick. And when I was testing this like first time around, like I'm surprised like Conker's still a good swimmer even after like you know being drunk and all that shit. Uh what's that, what's that? Hey, hey. Who are you? Oh hello. Can you help me? I I need to get home and go to bed because I don't feel very well at all. <laughs> oh no no. Oh, so you can't help me at all. Uh, uh, actually, yeah, yeah, yes, I can. Maybe. Um. Okay. What's your name? Beardy. Beardy. You haven't got a beard. No. Birdie. I scare birdies. Oh, hey, Birdie. Um, so how you, can you help me? Right. Let's step over here. Look this fucking scarecrow, man. Yeah. Uh, I don't feel 
one of the more memorable characters of the game. There's so many memorable characters. You see those buttons? Actually, you'll find that uh, uh, they're called contact sensitive. <laughs> and, uh, uh, well, actually, they, uh, uh, press B. Press B. Oh, yeah. The light comes on. Uh, and it makes this nice ting. Right, a ting noise. You guys ting. Uh, no, ting. That's it. That's it? Yeah. Okay, I'll press B. So, what does that mean? <laughs> it means contact sensitive. It's sensitive to contacts. Try it over there. Okay. Well, you could try it again. Yeah, let's just give him more beer. Now, uh, watch this. This is what happens. Okay, I was expecting that. Last time. Come on, if I do. Very, very much. Ah, I'm gonna go to bed now. Nay, nay. <laughs> yeah, this is fucking great. I noticed, like, on the bottom there, like, under a shirt, you can see, like, some words. I think it says conquer on it. Like, to. Did fucking Conker write his name on it or something? Yeah, yeah. Look at look at it, look at the sign here. If I can get the camera to focus on the sign here. Uh, if you, if you hit the right trigger yeah, button, you, you can get it closer. Oh yeah, the feck off crow sign. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, contact sensitive controls represented by big buttons on the ground. Yep. And the big B. Button. Oh. Just what I needed. In fact, it would seem to me that these give me just what I need at that moment in time. Oh, I see what he means. Context sensitive. Clever. Oh, I feel loads better. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, and by the way, if for whatever reason you want to skip all these wonderful cutscenes, then just press the L button. But you will have to have watched them at least once. Yes, you can't just be a dick yeah. and skip over it. And now Conker can run. Now, yeah, every time he gets drunk and he drinks milk, that's his way of recovering. Yeah, I was up to this part before. I was just swimming along like a maniac. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, I can't seem to get any further. I'm sure there was something. Ah, yes, now I remember. Hold the Z button down, and I should crap. Now then, what was it? Oh yeah, press A to jump extra high. Then A again to do that funny helicopter tail thing. Now that makes me harbor. Hmm, I should easily get across that gap. Um, are you sure you yes. got that? <laughs> yes, I can. Yeah, don't worry, Conker, we're not stupid. Oh. Just like Tails and Sonic. Yep, except for his hover recovery ends up a lot quicker, so. You have to, so it only lasts for a few seconds, so it's to help you hover across for a bit. A little less than Tails in that regard. Yeah, Tails can fly longer than Conker can, though. That makes sense because he's got like two Tails on him. Yeah. Now what we do is we want to come back down here. We want to go through that door because we have to do contact sensitive again to get Conker to use his frying pan. His, his <laughs> A weapon. frying pan. His okay. melee weapon. His melee weapon. <laughs> Interesting. I thought it would have been the punch. Actually, he does before he has the um, frying pan. <laughs> A key with eyes. Hmm. I wonder if that's a clue to anything. Hang on. Something missing here. Didn't I have a... Ah. Nah. Try pressing B and see what that does. Yes, um, I got it. Sure yes, got I got that? it. I got it. Yeah, as we have already demonstrated. Yep, there's the fine pan. Now we've got to chase the key and whack his ass. 
I'm not missed. Yeah. I can get it. I can get it. There you oh, go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, this game is actually quite hard, I'm not gonna lie. The first time I played it, I did struggle quite. Whatever. <laughs> Who needs that key anyway? Yeah, just leave him to his. I've got to say, graphically, it looks quite damn good for an instinct game. Yeah, like, I've, they really went top notch on this. Yeah, at the end of its lifespan as well. I didn't even. You could actually have the graphics speed look really good without the expansion pack either. Yeah, <laughs> that's surprising. Who's this guy? If you think you're coming this way. You can think again. Oh, you're a real charmer. I just want to get past, please. No, I don't think so. I've only just got comfy. Have you ever sat on a piece of Gothic architecture for 200 years? Gets right up your ass, you know. Thought it was about time to move on to a bridge, say. And I'm not moving now. Isn't it a little bit early in the day to start talking about gothic architecture? Well, if you care to come a bit closer, we can discuss things of another nature. Yes, yeah, like smack you in the face. A frying pan. <laughs> you stupid little... Dumb gargoyle. Yeah, but it gets for being a cocky shit. Oh, crushing all the fucking flowers as well. And that's just a dick move. Yeah, very dickish. But now we can't get through this door, so we gotta go find another way around. I jump, I cross. Jump, fly across to here. Now, tell me if this reminds you of Looney Tunes. Plunger with dynamite. Um, I think I know what's gonna happen now. 